Alright, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here, of course, for Haikyuu. Episode 25. Episode 25 of Season 1. This is the final episode. Yep. And so, they lost. Yeah, they lost. And they lost. now and it's going to be kind of the recap. Pick themselves team back up. Coming together. Pick themselves back up. Yes. Be excited for, you know, the next season. Say and goodbye to Daichi, Suga, and Asahi. Yeah. Which I'm I, not I, ready I for. really I think that so the show the show is trying to kind of avoid like kind of talking about it because the characters are like, you know, you but, know, yeah, it's it's okay. It's but okay. this is the episode where like they could focus this entire episode on that if on they that. wanted to. And you know what? I really enjoyed every moment the show decided to basically be like. Yeah, you know that we we could talk about the games in the future. We could talk about the practices for now, but we're let's just going to focus on the eating. characters eating. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. have them yep. hanging yeah. out at the oh, yeah. uh, the those, the camp place. Exactly. You know, yep. that kind of stuff. I those, love those quiet I love it moments so much. where where they trust that you know the characters well enough, and you're following with the story, so that you know exactly what the characters are going to be feeling and thinking at that moment. Yeah, and then they, in case you. Uh, need, need yeah, a little they help. Had some, they they had throw some the tears stuff. in there. Too. Yeah. You know. Okay, but Abu Jusai won. Yep. If anything, they might uh, have it end a little bit on a on a on a cliffhanger note for Abu Jusai and showing that you know they are going you know, uh, sure. onwards to yeah. face uh, yeah, they Shira Torizawa. Yep. They could they could totally do that. Mm -hmm. Also, they could really uh, have you know the character focus be you know back towards Hinata again because it was around sure. Kageyama a lot mm -hmm. recently oh that's and true having Hinata be yep. the one that really is the glue that holds the team's emotional spirits together right. and he could just get everyone mm -hmm. positive back up again yep because he just wants to be on the court and they're gonna you know, need so that much next year they're yeah they're gonna need that so much all right guys uh so without further ado let's get into this episode and uh, see how the season ends Wow, I'm so glad they're starting the episode this way. Like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know they would do this, but it, it feels perfect. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, oh, buddy. I'm already feeling the heat. Oh, mm -hmm. and there's Tanaka. Yeah. Yamaguchi. Daichi. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to see the team just coming together as a group, regardless oh, of yeah. what happens. Oh, yeah. Like, with all the third years. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, just everyone just yep. there, maybe having a big, like, group hug or just a yep. big group, like, kind of just, ah, you know, next season. All right, here we go. We got to belt this one out. Oh, yeah! Ah, we needed that. Yeah, that, that felt good. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Oh, their they're game's uh, starting. All right. <laughs> わあ。ひかでんちゃん。ひなたとかげやまが初めてバレーブに来た日。第3は春高に行くって言った。一時予選は8月だっけか。俺たちでもう1回行くって言った。敗戦に浸ってる余裕ねえ。いや。俺は。
So, so there's multiple seasons or multiple tournaments? Well, no, I don't know if there's oh, multiple tournaments, but at the very oh, least they can Daichi. still But at the very least they can still practice with them until the end of their senior year. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I love it when they do those shots. Yeah. Oh, Hinata's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Getting his milk. <laughs> I don't know, like, determined. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, because he. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> みんなでワイワイやるのが楽しいって漠然と思ってました。いや、そういうんじゃ。ああ。そういうんじゃなくて。俺もあいつらみたいに強い奴らと対戦に戦いたい。勝負ごとで本当に楽しむためには強さがい
Oh my god. Ah, yeah, as a team, so mm -hmm. getting together. <laughs> the dirt on their faces. Yeah. <clears throat> Who cares? Wait, okay, so they, okay, so they could, but so there's another tournament they could go to. Right. We'll find out. Wait, yeah. So, so wait, there's another tournament yeah, that I they think can so, go to. I think so. I think there's, so. <laughs> Wait, I thought, that was, I thought that was the last one. Yeah, I know, one. I know. Yes! All right. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Some of those weirdos. <laughs> Who do you think all of those weirdos yes. showed up? <laughs> He's just dumbfounded. <laughs> oh, yes. お願いします。お願いします。シュートリザワ。いや、あ、そう。優勝は。シュートリザワだ。わあ。おお。They <laughs> Wow. Oh, here we go. Yes, another, another Daichi. Yes, yes. Capture the vision, see the vision. That's right. Grabs the vision, sees it with both Yes! Hands. All right. Oh, oh, Nikola. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm starting to like feel these characters like oh, so deep in here. Mm. Yeah, that's why you can jump. <laughs> Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no eyes opened! Uh -huh. Yes! Oh, oh and he opens the oh, That's right, the, the, the view, view from, from the, the top. top. Yep, yep. Uh. Right on the corner. Oh, good on the show. Oh, that's right. So many, so many things happened this season. Like, I know. Like, ah. Uh, They've all come so far. far. Yeah, came so far. They've like, all, you know, hurtled over mm -hmm. multiple obstacles. Funny That's things right. like yes. that. Yep. Yeah. Daichi's serious <laughs> face. Uh -huh. Suga's, Suga's dirt, dirt face. face. Yep. yep. Tanaka's intensity. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is great. <laughs> it's a highlight reel. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh <laughs> yes! I forgot about that. That was so good. Oh, the match against Nakoma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that when that yeah, happened, that, that was, was so, so crazy. Insane. Oh, yeah, I've loved this show so much. <laughs> oh, that's wow. so sweet. It's so precious. Uh, I love this show so much. Oh, it's so, so good. good. It's so good. So much. All right. Wow. So, so Daiji, Suga, and Asahi are going to be there for another tournament. What? Like, what? okay, okay. That was some clever, like, that was some clever sort of manipulation type uh -huh. stuff where they, like, uh -huh. show something from a character's perspective and kind of hide a little bit of what they yep. would actually be thinking because there, mm -hmm. um, because there was the, I, I wasn't quite sure. I was pretty sure that was going to be their last tournament, but then there was right. the part where Suga was like, this could be the last time I'm on the court. Right. You know, as a high schooler. So, but he did, but they didn't mention the idea that, oh, there is another tournament right. after like this there that are, we could there go are to. two tournaments per school year. I guess. Because yeah. I guess that's why they're single elimination. Is that it's fine sure. if you lose out on the first one. There's two of them that you have the potential for entering your team into, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Because the teams are like mini organizations within the school. They're clubs, right. essentially. Yeah, and, and that makes a lot more sense because originally I was really surprised. I'm like, they're starting with the single elimination tournament. We don't right. have like a normal thing and then do like a, a, a finals tournament or, after that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Just have your basic games and then a tournament. But and the, the standings of the original season would dictate who is in the, the who, made who it gets the buys tournament. into yeah. the tournament and All who gets stuff, into right. it. Exactly. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, but but they didn't do that. So apparently there's another there's another one. Which, right. I think is this is our limited knowledge of how not only how schools work in Japan, but officially right. like volleyball in Japan. Yeah, because for I'm, high schools. Right. Because it's a very specific like subset mm -hmm. of yeah, school cause, sports. Because I know I know in, in Japan the high schools will only have. There will only be three years for the high school, right. and like their, I know their summer breaks are are shorter. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought they started, I thought they started in the spring, like, but m maybe not. Maybe not. not. Maybe they start so, in the fall, just like we do. Yeah. And um, the spring is just the, you know, right. the, the 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 last one, I guess. But but if they're all coming back, so that we get our team, we, we, we do like to, that's, we don't have to uh, say goodbye yet. Mm. We don't have to say goodbye. I am yet. so happy. I am. Uh, I am so happy because, like, because, because, okay, and and I'm I'm so glad I didn't know that going into that tournament because that, like, like, yeah, I, I wouldn't have cared as much about them losing. They still did an amazing job of making us care about them losing because the characters yeah. care so much. But mm -hmm. the the fact that we mistakenly thought that Daichi and Suga and Asi were just going to be gone that made it. <laughs> That made it so much worse. Yeah. Oh, because oh. because I think I think what they brought up was that Daichi said back in like the fourth episode or like after right. Kageyama and That's right, yeah. Yeah. Hinata had joined mm -hmm. that they were going to get to Tokyo. And that was their goal to to do that like either in this one or oh. in the spring tournament. Was it Tokyo or did he say we're gonna go to nationals? Yeah, yeah, but I think that's the same thing. Oh, okay. In order to get well, to Tokyo, they would have to, they would have to get uh, into national. Except that I think the spring tournament is in Tokyo. Oh, oh, so they're in different. Oh, okay. So okay, so maybe I, the spring tournament is different. Yeah, that's I, something I think we'll have to to learn in the second season. Is, right, and they'll probably they'll probably they'll probably explain it to us, that. you know since it's now relevant. Right, um, but like. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I was yeah. so worried this whole episode, but almost immediately, like almost immediately with Suga or Tanaka was mentioning about the spring tournament and I'm like, "Wait, what? Spring yeah, and, tournament? And, uh, yeah, Is I that figured next year what what's going on?" Right. I figured it was something where like the the tournament might start at the beginning of the next school year. Right. So it would be something where it's like, "Okay, um the people that are still in the volleyball club could help the team practice and yeah. stuff for the next tournament, but they wouldn't actually be participating in it, which right. would then make a lot of, you know, a ton of sense why yeah. the, the teachers are like, hey, you don't really need to be there anymore. Let's focus on your finals and right. your studies and, and stuff. Right, why Daichi was like, I think we should let the team move on without us. Right. But in this case, it's a schooling thing because if they're going to go on to university slash college, they should be preparing for their entr entrance exams and for yeah, their, yeah. you know, higher education schooling because it's, totally... it's a more intense thing than oh, yeah. high school. And to be fair, college university, I think, in Japan is a much bigger deal than it is over here. Um, that yeah, might I, not be the exact I'm not entirely the case. sure. I know, I know high school is, is more important in Japan than it is over than here. Than it is over here, that's um, true. And, and university probably by extension um, but maybe that's it. There's some final exams after at the end of high school that they wouldn't be studying for as much yeah. if they were in school, which or, would then show them what kind of colleges they're right. available. Like, like the to equivalent of from. like their SAT scores or something like that, yeah. or, or whatever. That's or gonna, whatever here. Yeah, whatever it would be. Um, and and because they're going to be playing volleyball and not studying for those as much, that's they might yeah it might hurt their yeah stuff there. And I, I like that they did something really interesting. Asahi has little desire for higher education. So his decision was easy. Mm -hmm. Suga's seemed to be very emotionally based. His yes. was, no, I am going to stay. Right. I yeah. have my reasons. And that's something I'm excited for them to get I, into in I'm season not, two. I'm not letting my kids, you know, like, well, down now. Well, I, I think there might be some personal, not necessarily selfish, but self-oriented goals. It's not about the okay. team, I think. Daiji huh. was thinking about the team, and his thoughts about the team were, look at our first years. Like, holy crap. Right. They yeah. were amazing. Yeah, and but... They and might, they might not need us. Uh, right, well, and, and at the... Also, they've got a great coach, you know, Ukai. Yeah, they have a great coach, but I think it also might be the thing of, since... Um, this is because this is kind of like the last gamble, right? Uh, because right. they're going to be practicing with Daichi and Asahi mm -hmm. and Suga, 
Yeah. And they're only going to be there for this next tournament, and then after that, it's going to be all the other players. So maybe they're they were saying, hey, if we were to leave now, that could better prepare the rest of the team for the next year by having like the the second years that you know haven't developed their skills very much, right. and you know, and all those people to, to come into the forefront, come into the forefront, get them working well together mm-hmm. as a team, so that next year they'll be able to really be firing on all cylinders. I like that. It would also be cool to. Uh, I don't know if the show is going to get all the way to there before then. Now that we've essentially kept on Suga, Daichi, and Asahi, Mm -hmm. we might not see new first years for Karasuda even in the second season. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I could totally see the second season basically being like kind of a repeat of the first season where it's like, okay, there's another tournament that we're practicing for and stuff but it's more about like how the other teams have grown not just Karasuno exactly and then it'll end with the crushing fact that okay now Asahi Daichi and Suga are this leaving. is their last this is season. their last season no matter then, what exactly and then um and then what would be mm-hmm. the third season I guess that'll probably be when they um when they bring in the the new yeah. first years do you feel like um do you feel like they they now have to get to nationals? Like, I don't or know. or or here's the okay. way they can make this work and have it not be just a repeat. The tournament is fundamentally different because it's uh, in Tokyo. I, I just thought about this. Okay, I was thinking about like this is a repeat. That's that that might not be good. But well, all right, I've heard dangerous. from people, yeah. all I've heard from people is that Haikyuu gets so much better the more you get into it right. because of the characters primarily, mm-hmm. but. If the tournament is different, it's not necessarily going to be structured the same way. Uh, sure, it might not be single elimination. Yeah, they it might, might have. It might, might not be just it. against people in your prefecture either. Like they could uh, go up against Nekoma. Again. I, okay, I think if they, they're they going might, to Tokyo, they might. They, yeah, well, that's where are, Nekoma is. That's true. I'm just saying, like. Yeah, we need to know more about volleyball and how it works and stuff because I because I, I thought that it was Nekomo was basically saying, hey, make sure like we both need to make it to nationals that way we can play against right. each other. Mm-hmm. Um, but so what is the difference of the spring tournament tournament? Because we'll find out if it's not just by prefecture, yeah. then the then the tournament that they just did, mm-hmm. what's the difference of that? Why was that based right. on prefecture? And because that did have the mm-hmm. chance to go to nationals, and I don't think there's two national tournaments a year. Um, so mm-hmm. I guess we'll see. But oh, ooh, that could be interesting. What if, what if the winners of the prefecture thing go into nationals, but also the winners of the spring tournament go into nationals? And there's so, like a third tournament. No, no, no. Basically, that no the nationals is all the summation of those that win in the, you know, the the previous tournament and the spring tournament. But anyways, I okay. think we should. I think we should yeah, not yeah. speculate yeah. about it because we're just going to end we up don't, being, We don't know enough about it. We have it. We're no probably data. Just, yeah, no yeah, data. We're shooting at all. in the. We're shooting in the dark. We're shooting here. in the dark completely. But um, the okay, that part where but, oh, this episode that it was so good. Like oh. just okay, this is something that I wish more stories did, mm-hmm. where they have those lingering moments. Yes. Usually, usually, I'll find these yes. in like Ghibli movies, right? Mm-hmm. Where where it'll have the characters usually like eating, right? Um, and here they they instead have them just be like sitting at their desks, right? Thinking and, and just feeling. Oh, and just, no words being spoken, no but words. you absolutely know what's going on, mm-hmm. absolutely, and it and it's hitting you like a ton of bricks. <sighs> and then at that part where Kageyama and Hinata go into go into the gym, mm-hmm. you know, and and start just yelling, <laughs> like, yeah, letting out their barbaric yops. That's right. I. I I think this is something that is is really really interesting. I I don't know what the uh, I know based on our on our analytics we get a lot more ladies watching Haikyuu than any other show, but I want to talk to like everyone particularly about this point. There's something and I, I don't think this is mutually exclusive to just guys, but there is something about when you've had something happen that's outside of your control. And yet, you felt personally responsible a little mm-hmm. bit for its for its happening. Yeah, letting out all of your emotion in a just powerful, just ah, uh, you know, just right. Letting all that out is very good. I, I feel like it's it's a sure. little bit it'll, it seems a little bit caveman esque, you know, a little bit 
kind of primal. Sure, and I, well, and I would say that everyone does that in you know different their own ways. Different ways. But literally, I'm talking about this, like yeah. literally yeah. this. Sometimes no, it's the best way. It sometimes it's the best way. Yeah, and I I I yeah. didn't think it really hit me until Hinata jumped up. Onto the the, the, the railing, railing and the climbed up. Story, yeah. There, um, mm -hmm. there was a point. What a picture! Like, there was a point when I played a really bad baseball game. A really bad baseball game. Okay, mm -hmm. like I played horribly, and I I let my team down. Like I I I was probably, uh, you know, someone that if my team didn't have me on the team, they would have won. And I was so mad, so frustrated, and I wanted to be better at the game that I went and ran and climbed up a tree, a tree, like a big tree, like a big friggin' tree, like 80 feet, 100 feet. And I went up that tree so fast, like the anger and the, the, the pain and the frustration, the sadness, I channeled it into my climbing and I climbed up that tree so fast. And once I got up to the top, I just, ah, just cause no one can hear me, right? The or winds everyone there, can hear or you. Or everyone can hear me. But I was in an area where there wasn't really that, that many people. So if anything, people are just hearing this, ah, you know? And I was just so frustrated. But when I was up there and I, I really, I really attribute the height thing of him going up to that that level of you know yeah. going up to that next bit as having gained a little bit of perspective, but it's also yeah. him doing something he's good at, right? And jumping I, clear up to something that is on the second story, right? And Kageyama's like, every time he does that, Kageyama <laughs> has this look of like, this guy is a freak of nature. Like, yep, yep, how the yeah. heck did he do that? Yep, yep. <laughs> and I think that that. That means something more than just letting out your frustration. It's like a promise to yourself. Exactly. And right. it's... Especially with the whole setup of the idea of the <sighs> wall and, and everything. Yeah. But I, that 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 really hit me in the in the feels and not oh, yeah. the sad feels in like the the hopeful the hopeful feels. Yeah. 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 So yeah. That, that's probably one of my favorite haiku scenes. Now is just them running or that, screaming around because it's that funny. was great. It, it's it's funny, funny, but it's also like. Oh, but it's, it's just it's deep. Yep. Just it's right deep to the in heart. There. Yep. yep. Oh, I yeah. almost I know it's the wrong show, but I almost want to give them a Shinzo Sasageo, like kind of give your heart. Hey, like yeah. no that like that Yeah. That I, it, I would say that would it's be It's very fun. apropos, you know. Yep. <laughs> oh man. And but my boys, my boys, yep. all this mm -hmm. like dialogueless emotion yep. and it's not that, the angsty uh, stuff to where it kind of edges on, like, kind of nails on the chalkboard every once in a while. It's like, it's like the... Right, because, <laughs> and, and I would say that the important thing for that is because so much of it was just silence. So that yeah. when they ended up screaming and running around the track, yeah. that was needed. You're like, okay, yes, good, you're doing that, right? If they'd done that right off the bat... Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have liked it. Yeah. But the way they opened up this episode mm -hmm. with almost like I don't I, I don't even think there was any words towards being, the being said. moments yeah. of the match. Yeah, the moments yeah. of the match as they're all just thinking back on it, you know, and everything while the life goes on for yeah. everyone else, mm -hmm. you know. <sighs> that was so good. And then of course they go right into the opening. Yeah. The positive, happy opening. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. I was worried with like how the episode is going to go that you know i wouldn't have the strength to oh yeah with you the always but every time it came up oh yeah it just welled up inside me and i'm mm -hmm. like all yep. right yeah the, the, Let's yeah. Go. the creators are like all right they'll, they'll need this right about now mm -hmm. just like the characters well chosen probably need it well chosen and okay mm -hmm. um can i just say like go on the record to say that in the end credits mm -hmm. the way they showed moments from the season yes yes thank you thank you that for doing was that yeah like i'd forgotten about some of those and then it's oh, like got that's chills right. just that thinking happened. about that again yeah. and it's like like oh, oh man oh, that's that's how you get someone not only excited to rewatch so the good. show but excited for the next season yeah because you're like man so much happened they, they grew so much they learned so much they changed so much and Here's to try number two. Mm. Uh, and I like that they brought the focus back to Hinata and Kageyama. Yes. It's just reminding yep. us who the main characters are. Exactly. But they really did give precious, important time 
to Sugawara and Daichi mm-hmm. and Asahi. And, and and Kyoko. Oh yeah, Kyoko too. Kyoko's a third year. Mm-hmm. And her being involved at the team yep. is the same thing mm-hmm. as them being involved. She yeah. you know, she's not she's not a standard uh-huh. uh, you yep. know, a standing passerby with no like involvement in the team. She yeah. commits a lot of energy and effort so that they felt right. like they needed to talk with her about it as well. Yep. And she's staying too. Mm-hmm. Which means we could have another another tear scene. We're going to get plenty of tier seeds. Oh, yeah. I don't think oh, yeah. we need to worry about that. If not from the not. players, certainly from us. Yeah. yeah. And also, 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 my mind's blanking. No. What's his name? Float serve. Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi. Yes. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, it's all good. But they, they had they had his scene with Ukai's they buddy. They had his scene, and that, yeah. Yeah, that was really that, good. I would almost say it was my favorite scene from the episode. Like, oh, really? Like, like the scene with Hinata and Kaguyama is, it's either this or that. But like, okay. But like, I loved that scene so much because yeah. it, it's there's okay the idea of losing when you've tried so hard, right? Right. Like that's yeah, you can absolutely get behind that. Mm-hmm. But the idea of losing because because at least Hinata and Kaguyama have the have the sort of the the support that it's like okay. We did a really good job. We really did our best, and right. and we got so close because right. we tried so hard, mm-hmm. right? But with Yamaguchi, it's like the one time, the one time, right? I was brought on the field. He's I asking, so did long. you have fun being on the field? No, no. He's like I understand. Yeah, yeah, it's like that, and it's those moments that make the triumph so important right. because it's the idea that they push yes. through those moments we didn't see those yes. moments for Hinata because it starts when he's already been practicing like crazy and mm-hmm. yeah he was bad at the beginning mm-hmm. but he, it was already this obsession that you know just <sighs> that just consumed his very soul for it right? right but we need to see these kinds of things for Yamaguchi because mm-hmm. not everyone can be you know a, a f- yeah. freak like Kageyama yeah. and, or or third years who've who you know who have already gotten past those moments like mm-hmm. Daichi and Asahi and Suga, like right. so seeing that was was such a big deal and it also was a promise that hey we're gonna do some cool things with him next season. Speaking so, of cool things next season, you know what I just realized? What? I was thinking about the way that Seijo or Abu Josai mm-hmm. lost to Shira Torizawa. Yep. And was thinking, oh, that's their way of building up Shira Torizawa more. But no, you know what it is? Is only one of them can beat Shira Torizawa in the second season. Which means that whichever one loses in the second season is going to hand off the baton to the other team and go, it's your time. Finish this. this. Finish yeah. this for us. Yeah, okay. And it's going to be the most I like it. hype. Okay, just yeah. Moment All right. of All Seijo, right. Abba Josai, and Karsuna coming together and yeah. them just being like, we got this. Yeah. And going from being like frenemies, you know, because they, rivals, because right. they beat them in the yeah. last one, to, to, to yep. and that, we'll, we'll do this for absolutely. you. Absolutely. And, and you, that, know what, you know what I mm-hmm. like? The idea of this mm-hmm. is that I would like Abba Josai and Karsuna to not face each other in the second season. I don't want Karasuno to predictably face them again and then win and then win or you know or lose right because either way would, it's yeah, going to feel a lot like the first it's going to feel like a lot like the first season okay. but they're going to look at the standings and go no we don't get to face um Shiro Torizawa Shiro Torizawa but whichever team does I think is going to lose whichever team faces Shiro Torizawa first, in the standings basically. yes yeah and then the other they're team, going to say take the torch yes you have to beat them and that's and that is something that is totally natural and totally happens because yes when you lose mm-hmm. you want when or well actually when well no, See, was, it's not no, exactly no like no, that. no it's not exactly because a lot yeah. of times when you lose against the team you want that team to win so that it's like okay at least we lost to the winning team right, right. makes your loss not feel as hard right. but if you're if you're going up against the the obvious contender for mm-hmm. for first place oh yeah i I am that, really excited for the really emotions, cool. the complicated emotions of the second season. You, because regardless uh, of it, how it the spring tournament amazing. works out, I really I really want the other teams 
to emotionally influence Karsuno in a way that they didn't in the first season. Sure. Like, go to the next level with that. So, here's here's something... Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Now, now the other team that I'm interested to see what they do with is Datiko. Yeah. Because, yes. with the way they set it up, Datiko is not a contender, in my mind, for... Top tier. Top tier, right? No. So, what they'll probably end up doing is they'll be basically the tragic defeat, and they end up getting mm. taken out. They'll, they'll have okay. grown so much... But it will end up just not being enough, and they'll be going up against probably Abujasai or Shira Torizawa. Sure. And like, and it'll be sure. sort of the thing of like, Karasuna will be like cheering them on, like, "Wow, you've gotten so much better and everything." And yeah, yeah, it won't be enough. Yeah, and I, I think top contender material is more like the the Nekoma team, like, Assu- like, right. like yeah, assuming they're involved and uh-huh. stuff. Uh, I really want to see teams like that again. Right, yeah, they because think really cleverly yes, with uh, yes. their you know tactics. Right, and stuff. because now that they've introduced all these different teams in this season, yeah, in this next tournament, you can they mix can, match. You can mix and match and them. Just, oh. and, and, and the thing is, is that is that while you while you still had that in this season because you didn't know who they were, right. they waited to have them be present until yes. they were going to be in a game, pretty much. Sure. I would just say I had been introduced yeah. earlier, so okay. And Nekoma was kind of the same, yeah, because and, they weren't going to be later. They exactly. weren't going to be in the season later. Right. But this way, you can have all these all this pre-tournament stuff yeah. where they're like, okay, watch that team to see how, they're, how they've are how they improved sure. since last year. You know, do mm-hmm. all these things because things are different now and we know all the players personally, or at least, right. you know, half of them or a lot of them, right? right. Um, which... And there could be new for... teams too. Oh, uh, that's be true. New teams probably with new characters and just yeah. Maybe there know. was a maybe there was like a, a dark horse, you know, other than Karasuno in in this tournament that just happened that they didn't hear about. Oh, and it's like sure. oh, they're back and the, and they've done better, or they're the new dark horse of that tournament, or right, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I, I think the only thing I've I've got left to say is when the team all came together at the end. And they all oh, just kind yeah. of showed up and stumbled mm-hmm. together. Yep. My heart got so just warm it grew and fuzzy. Three sizes. Yeah, but it was yeah. this. It was this feeling of like uh, a family, right. basically just kind of yeah. coming together and 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 just being that. Yep. Like there wasn't anything yep. that they needed to do. They just all needed to be in the same room mm-hmm. and acknowledge each other there and they tried to break the tension little bits with like funny moments sure and it's like yeah cool classic very funny yeah. but but it was that Ugh. feeling of them all being together and once the third year showed up mm-hmm. it, it yeah it's just it's just so happy <laughs> i really love it really this was show. it this Jacob, show do you, is do you, so good do you feel like the like because because you're you're not as much of a sports guy, but like, do you really feel like the sports side of it you can really like identify with? Oh, absolutely. Because it, in my mind, it's kind of the same thing as like the My Hero Academia thing, right? Okay. You can't cool. really identify with wanting to be a superhero. I mean, you can, but not in like a, a literal possible sense. Yeah. But you can idea you can get behind the idea of the the dream or the thing that yeah. is super important to you. Okay. Cool. Right. And wanting to give everything you have for that and wondering. Will it be enough? Will someone like me be able to make it? <laughs> yeah, and it, that yeah that that transcends sports. That it trans- does. It like, does. That's why it, it does. doesn't matter that they're playing volleyball. Right. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Volleyball is a great medium, and I'm sure the creator knew a lot about volleyball, which is why he was able to make it so engaging and feel so real and right. You know, up close and personal. Mm-hmm. But when it comes right down to it, it's not about volleyball. Yeah, it's about the characters, and it's about yeah. it's about this thing that they care so much about. Right, it, it could be anything, but we love stories where the characters have the impassioned drive to go after yeah. the thing, the activity, the person, whatever. And as long as that passion is there, and it's what connects the characters involved, the story has just already a win under its belt. Oh yeah, and I I really wanted to say just as the end of this is that. There's a, a different feeling that I get that I, I don't think I've really heard you mention. I, that's why I wanted to ask you oh. about the sports thing. And I think it's because I still play sports to this day. In that every time I watch this show, I realize oh, how I rare it say. is to have a team like yep, that. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. something to where you look at this and you go, 
You know what's not mm-hmm. realistic about this show in a kind of a sad way is how closely knit the, the team, team is. is. Yep. And right. that's something that it's it actually is realistic, but it's something to where most people aren't ever going to experience something that right. just wonderful. And 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 they even they even like <sighs> hold to that in in some ways by making there be characters in the team that you don't really know very well like Tsukishima you know, like Tsukishima or yeah. the second years you know yeah, yeah. other than Nishinoya yeah, and, exactly. and Tanaka right um but yeah and and yes and that is a great point and, and once you said like there's something you didn't mention I was like oh of course he's going to mention the team and that that really is a huge deal because okay for me this is this this will seem a bit silly right but but the the team equivalent that I always you know that that just captures my Say mind it, so I much. Say it. Oh yeah, Mandalorians. Yeah. Right. And and even and it's the idea that you can have people that are that are united around something that they all hold to be very important. Right. right. And and that's what this this team in Haikyuu is. Yeah. That's why it means so much to us. When people play st- sports, it's even more so like that. Mm-hmm. But even when people don't, I would say that's something that they all know they desire. Or, like, even if it's subconsciously knowing that they desire yeah. it. Connection and is a powerful thing. It is a very and powerful thing. the connection thing. between players and a team like this is something that I would, I, would give, I would give one of my hands to have something like that. Like, I would, I, I would give my... Yeah, I would. I would give my left arm to to have like you know something like that. Like not your right arm, because then you can't throw the first. Then I can't throw the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, <laughs> and and that really it's it's, yeah. it's something special. It's and I, I feel like this is something where I I want other sport people that I know like it's like in ultimate frisbee mm-hmm. for instance. I want them to watch something like this because yeah. there's there's something about it that yes it transcends the sport side of things. Mm-hmm. But there's something in this in where I want everyone who's involved in a team or a group of people that are passionate about a project of any kind, mm-hmm. any kind of organization to watch something like this because it it has something special about it that goes beyond that. And it's about the yeah. connections between people. And anyways, I don't want to wax philosophical here, but no, I, I, totally I, get I it. love this show. Yeah, like I, love I, show. I think the whole team dynamic is basically like because they are like a family, you know, cer- mm-hmm. certainly in IQ, and, and I think that's the potential of what teams can be in real life. Yeah. And a lot of the times when, when you think of, like, family, mm-hmm. it'll be those connections that are that are very deeply there, but it'll be different from a team because a lot of times, you know, people and families are, are just very different, right? Mm-hmm. But whereas with a team, it's a bunch of people coming together that probably wouldn't have known each other Apart if from the fact didn't that if play they play volleyball, if they didn't play volleyball, or if yeah. they didn't play ultimate frisbee, or right. whatever, mm-hmm. right? Where yeah. where there's that common goal that the, that thing that they all hold to be so precious, right. and that brings them together. Uh, uh, good stuff. It's good stuff. I can't, Holy crap! I can't believe. Ah. At the same time, I'm so happy that there was a point where I did not know you about not this show, really or at least like, I, I did not that this believe be... that this would that this was a thing and that it was so good mm-hmm. because. Like, there was a point where I, in my infinite wisdom, thought I had watched all the good anime. And that I just had now had to wait for more good anime to be made. Right. How Never have I been so wrong. Like, oh my gosh. Ugh. Well, guys, this has been a fantastic first season of Haikyuu. I'm... Uh, the second season is going to be so good. I love it. All right, guys. Um, yeah, if you want to see the first episode of season two right now... Yeah. Go check out that link in the description for our Patreon. Get you on can also that. watch full-length reactions there as well. That's true. You can get part of our Discord if you're on any Patreon tier. And yeah, we'll see you there. But until then, resemblance to sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.